storm moved in overnight, bringing rain and a spectacular light show over L.A. Now you could hear the band of thunder stretching for miles in the Southland. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live in Playa del Rey, where there's been a pretty steady rainfall this morning. Candace? Yeah, Peter, it was really coming down earlier. Now we're getting a light mist right now. So we'll give you a look at uh, Doc Weiler State Beach. Uh, lovely, but kind of gloomy out. Uh, no sun, really. Uh, but uh, we did get some lightning yesterday. We are expecting more. Uh, so take a look at what it looked like yesterday. And it's on fire. Whoa, there goes a transformer. Sky 2 was over the Playa del Rey area when lightning caused a transformer to blow. Shortly after 8 o'clock last night, the National Weather Service recorded nearly 1,500 lightning pulses off the coast in just a five-minute stretch. A Delta flight to Seattle returned to LAX after getting struck by lightning. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. And a lightning strike also caused a brief power outage at three terminals. The National Weather Service uh, says that the amount of lightning we saw yesterday is not common with every storm. Uh, back out here live again, another look at how much rain we're getting. Just a light mist right now, as I mentioned, and within the last hour, it has been off and on and picked up, and now it's kind of tapered off a little bit, but we're going to continue to monitor the storm and bring you updates throughout the day. We're live in Playa del Rey. Candace Crone, CBS2 News. All right, Candace, thanks.